to Contenda's Internet Marketing Daily Quick Tip. Today's tip is on websites. Today's tip comes from the question, my website designer and I disagree on some of the design aspects of my website. For example, she really likes the header image she chose, but I don't. How can we know who is right? And that brings us to today's tip of the day. Be data-driven in your design decisions and use split testing to find the best design for your business. So why is it so important to be data-driven? Well, being data-driven when you're doing internet marketing, especially with things that come to taste and design choices, it's much easier and much more effective to base your design decisions on actual data rather than opinions or assumptions. Everybody's going to have different preferences when it comes to design and how things look. But when it comes down to it, because you're running a business website, you want to have the best possible design for conversion. Luckily, the internet that does provide us with an exceptional amount of cost-effective ways to collect data and analyze it. So as an online marketer, you're able to make decisions based off of data. There's a bunch of different tools out there that'll help you make data-driven decisions. Here's some from Google, Google Analytics that collects information about your site and shows you what happens on your website. There's Google Search Optimizer, which allows you to do split testing or multivariate testing and allows you to see what works best and get statistical information on that. And finally, Google AdWords, which is going to allow you to set up ads to send traffic to different landing pages and you can do your testing that way. So just some high level steps on setting up data driven testing. First off, you want to identify a business assumption or personal preference on your website. So something that you might like, but somebody else might not like. Maybe it's your business partner, your designer, or vice versa. And then you want to think of other variations to test. So you can think of these up yourself, or you can ask other people what they would want to see there. Next, you want to set up a testing platform or use a tool to collect data for you. So this might be setting up a split test using Google Analytics. You could use Google Search Optimizer to do a multivariate test and test a bunch of different versions at once. And then the next step is to collect statistically significant data and that statistically significant data is very important you want to make sure you're getting a big enough sample size that the data that you're looking at is good actionable data and finally as that data comes in you want to analyze that data and when it's statistically significant you want to use that to make a decision and this can be an ongoing cycle you can find things and we've done this here at Kutenda we've found ways to improve our conversion by over a hundred or two hundred percent just by making small design choices and you want to do the same. You want to do those tests and then continue testing after you've done those initial tests based off of what you've learned. And this might come out of the blue, but there's a really good book you should look to read if you're thinking about making data-driven decisions for your business. And that's a book called Moneyball by Michael Lewis. This is a great book that talks about how in the game of baseball, people are using statistics and using data to make decisions about putting together baseball teams. I'm not a big baseball fan when it comes down to it, but I read this book and really enjoyed it. You don't have to like baseball to like it, but it really shows you the importance of looking at data, not bringing your opinions to the table, and getting real actionable business information from numbers instead of your opinion. So today's goal is to find at least one assumption or personal preference that you can put to the test using a data-driven decision-making process. By using data-driven decision-making, especially when it comes to design choices on your website, you're going to find that your business can do a lot better and be a lot more successful than if you just do things based off of what you like or what you think will work. And that's today's internet marketing daily quick tip from Kutenda. Next time we're going to talk about search engine optimization, but if you haven't done so already, make sure you check out Kutenda. Kutenda helps small and local businesses market themselves online. We help you build and manage websites, do search engine optimization, paid search marketing, local search marketing, email marketing, and we give you all the training that you need to be successful. And by using our tools, we're going to help you succeed online. So please check us out at Qtenda.com. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.